Hello students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Aishwarya Agarwal. I am again back with a new video for you and that's division problem sums. So let's start, let's begin, let's get started. And those who haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe to this channel. Don't forget to hit the like button also. We will purchase 7050 meters of cloth for making uniforms. If 5 meters of cloth is required for making one uniform, how many uniforms can be made? It's just so simple, you have to just divide. One four one zero uniforms. Answer one four one zero. A school purchased seven zero five zero meters of cloth for making uniforms. If five meters of cloth is required for making one uniform, how many uniforms can be made? Just simple division. Seven zero five zero divided by five. One four one zero uniforms. The product of two numbers is 5640. If one of the numbers is 8, find the other. It's just so simple. The other number is equal to 5640 divided by 8 and that's 705. So the other number is 705. The product of two numbers is 5640. If one of the numbers is 8, find the other. The other number is equal to 5640 divided by 8 is equal to 705. So answer 705. 9500 rupees are to be divided equally among 5 persons. How much will each person get? It's just so easy. Each, each person gets 9500 divided by 5 and that's 1900. So answer rupees 1900. You can do it if you want to. Let me show you. Nine five zero zero rupees are to be divided equally among five persons. How much will each person get? Each person gets equal to nine five zero zero divided by five one nine zero zero. Answer rupees one nine zero zero. Each bag can hold sixteen apples. There are four ninety six apples. How many bags will be required to hold all the apples? It's just so easy. We have to just divide four ninety six by sixteen. So it's Thirty one is the answer. So thirty one bags will be required to hold all the apples. Answer thirty one. Each bag can hold 16 apples. There are 496 apples. How many bags will be required to hold all the apples? 496 divided by 16. That's 31. 31 bags will be required to hold all the apples. Answer 31. Harish had 540 marbles. He put the same number of marbles into each of 16 bags and told his brother that he would give him the number left. How many marbles did he give to his brother? 
let's do it each bag has 540 divided by 16 number of marbles that's equal to Harish had 540 marbles. He put the same number of marbles into each of 16 bags and told his brother that he would give him the number left. How many marbles did he give to his brother? Each bag has 540 divided by 16 number of marbles that's equal to 33 approx. There is a remainder and this remainder is the answer 12 marbles. So he gave his brother 12 marbles. There were 270 ice cream cups in 15 boxes. If each box had the same number of ice cream cups, how many ice cream cups were in each box? Simple division. Eighteen cups, I mean ice cream cups. So answer eighteen. Just simple division to seventy divided by fifteen, eighteen. Answer eighteen ice cream cups. If one minibus can carry twenty eight children, how many minibus would be required to carry three ninety two children? Just simple division. 392 divided by 28. 14 minibus. Answer 14. If one minibus can carry 28 children, how many minibus would be required? To carry 392 children, just simple division, 392 divided by 28. Answer 14 minibus. The cost of 7 bookcases is 7140 rupees. What is the cost of 1 bookcase? Cost of 1 bookcase is equal to seven one four zero divided by seven that's that's one zero two zero so answer one zero two zero you can do the division one zero two zero the cost of 7 bookcases is 7140 rupees. What is the cost of 1 bookcase? Cost of 1 bookcase is equal to 7140 divided by 7 is equal to 1020. Answer 1020. Divide. Now I will show you how to do division properly. First one is 210 divided by 2. Now this is dividend and this is divisor. 210 this is called dividend and 2 is divisor so 1 2 1 0 0 5 and this 1 0 5 this is quotient and there is no remainder so you can say remainder is zero or no remainder 210 divided by 2 answer 105 210 this is called dividend 2 this is called divisor 
and 105 quotient and there is no remainder in this case 210 is divisible by 2 and the answer is 105 next one 318 divided by 3 1 3 1 0 8 6 this is also divisible and the answer is 106 answer 106 this 318 is called dividend 3 is divisor and 106 this is called quotient and this uh, here also there is no remainder 318 divided by 3 it's 106 answer 106 here answer is 105 Divide 424 divided by 4. 4, 424, 1, 4, 2, 0, 4, 6, 24. Answer 1, 525 answer 105 424 divided by 4 answer 106 525 divided by 5 answer 2044 four. so answer 104 624 divided by 6 answer 104 721 divided by 7 1720 one, answer 103 721 divided by 7 answer 103 divide 888 divided by 8 1 8 981 divided by 9 198 one, 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 19 So answer 234 936 divided by 4 answer 234 45 answer 469 2345 divided by 5 answer 4169712 So answer 891 
सेवेन वन टू एट डिवाइडेड बाई एट आंसर एट नाइन्टी वन फाइव थ्री टू टू डिवाइडेड बाई सिक्स फाइव थ्री टू टू So answer eight eight seven nine thirty six divided by four answer two thirty four two three four five divided by five answer four sixty nine seven one two eight divided by eight eight ninety one five three two two divided by six answer eight eight seven divide there are three divisions that I have to do six three zero four divided by eight. So as you can see, answer seven eighty eight. Seven eighty eight. Answer four zero six four divided by eight. So as you can see, answer. Five zero eight, three eight two five divided by five. So as you can see, answer seven sixty five. Six three zero four divided by eight. Answer seven eighty eight. Four zero six four divided by eight. Answer five zero eight. Three eight two five divided by five. Answer seven sixty five.